a new remote tuner, new roof towers, a new power supply, and more. Coming up on our new series we're calling What's New at DXE. Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. Today we're starting a new series on the channel called What's New at DXE. In this series, you'll see items that were recently added to the DXE website and are currently in stock or expected to be soon. So let's dive right in. Up first is the Chameleon Antenna Universal Remote Antenna Tuner, the URT-1. The URT-1 is a wide range remote antenna tuner that can be used with many antennas, including long wires or random wires, and can be used with any coax fed antenna as well. This tuner consists of two units, the coupler and the tuner unit, and includes a power cable and all the necessary hardware for mounting the tuner unit outdoors. Frequency coverage is from 160 through 6 meters, and it will handle 125 watts sideband, 100 watts CW, and 60 watts digital. The tuner features 16,000 memories and will tune in approximately 5 seconds for a full tune and a tenth of a second for a memory tune. This tuner does not require a transceiver specific control cable, so it will work with almost any HF rig. This tuner is expected to be in stock in September. Inova Antennas has a 6 meter LFA 7 element beam. This antenna has a 1.57 wavelength boom that measures just over 31 feet long and can handle up to 5 kW. The antenna is a loop fed array which boasts 12.9 dBi of gain and over 30 dBi front to back. It also has 600 kHz of bandwidth. Wind load is just under 4 square feet and it's rated at 176 km per hour or 110 miles per hour of wind survival. One thing to note is that LFA antennas are typically quieter than conventional Yagis, which makes this antenna perfect for weak signal or EME. This antenna is currently in stock. Eclipse has a number of new items on the DX Engineering website. The first item is the GS23K Butane Soldering Iron. It comes in a rugged plastic case and features auto ignition, 90 minutes of runtime, and a refillable tank. This 3-in-1 unit will work as a soldering iron, blowtorch, and hot air blower. Next is the PK616A. This is a professional electronics toolkit which features a number of tools including a compact digital multimeter, screwdrivers, pliers, desoldering pump, soldering iron, and diagonal cutters. The SS969E SMD hot air rework station will not only work with soldering surface mount devices, but will also work with heat shrinking, drying, paint removal, glue soldering, and more. This unit has an adjustable, adjustable settings for hot airflow and temperature settings. The temperature range is adjustable from 212 to 842 degrees Fahrenheit. The MT1236 multimeter is an auto-ranging multimeter that will measure resistance, capacitance, and temperature. This meter features an LCD backlit screen and is powered by three AAA batteries. The SS628A is a portable mini hot air gun, which has two separate temperature and power levels. It can operate at 250 watts with a temperature of 662 degrees Fahrenheit and at 500 watts with a temperature of 932 degrees Fahrenheit. This hot air gun is lightweight and portable and features a comfortable grip and includes a foldable stand and a reflector nozzle. Each of these Eclipse items are currently in stock. Rig Expert has a new 40 amp continuous switching supply that also supports USB A and C charging. This supply has a very quiet internal fan and can be installed horizontally or vertically on your desk or workbench. The front panel features a touch display that automatic automatically rotates to support the orientation of the unit. This supply supports between 80 and 264 volts AC at 47 to 63 hertz. It can also be controlled remotely with the available software from Rig Expert and will work with Mac or Windows as well as Ubuntu. The Power 600 supply is expected to be in stock late August. If you missed Contest University this year, the new CTU 2024 textbook is now available. 
Inside, there are over 380 pages with the slide decks from each presentation for a number of topics, including propagation, antennas, SO2R, tower safety, and more from leaders in our hobby. The CTU textbook is now in stock. Nifty has a new reference guide for the Kenwood THD75A. Nifty guides are great mini manuals based on the owner's manual, but are written in an easy to follow, concise manner with clear illustrations. Nifty manuals are spiral bound, laminated, and make it easy to navigate your radio. This manual is in stock. RT Systems now has programming software for the ICOM ID50 and Kenwood THD75 handheld radios. Both come with the USB cable and the D75 software is available without the cable. Compatible with Windows and Mac, RT software makes it easy to program your new rig. The software for the ID50 is expected to be in stock late July, while the software for the THD75A is currently in stock. And finally, Comet has a new line of mobile antenna mount adapters. The 8010N will convert an NMO mount to a type N female, the 8015M will convert an NMO mount to an SO239 female. The 8025M will adapt an SO239 to accept an antenna with an NMO mount. And the 8035M adapts an SO239 mount to a 3H24 threaded stud. All these adapters are currently in stock. And that wraps up this edition for what's new at DXC. Links for all these items will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.